you know, Daddy wasn't finished. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, he had done everything that he set out to do. I don't think we holistically did a good job of really embracing some of the things he spoke about. And I think we're now in that reckoning time of looking at, you know, what, is, what are the values that we're going to take forward as a nation? And how are we going to deal with what we didn't ultimately deal with? I try not to embrace negativity. I try to always embrace how do we carry this message, message forward? Um, how do we create a more just and humane and nonviolent society? So even on April 4th, when some years, over the years, I've shed tears. Um, but we learned how to grieve privately uh, and, and not publicly because we always were in the public eye. So people always say, what would he be doing now? I, you know, it's hard to say, but technically, I think what he was doing, <laughs> he, he would be carrying forward that, that Poor People's Campaign and still talking about the revolution of values. You, you know, Dad is sort of frozen in time to some degree uh, because he was 39 years old, of course, as we know, when he was killed. Um, but because of the speeches that are played and sermons, it feels like his message is still within our society. And my hope is that we learn how to not just idolize him, but to embrace the ideals uh, that he personified um, so that we can create a, a peaceful and just and humane and civil society.